Okay, so today's gonna be a little bit different. Um, instead of taking out my GoPro, going to a creek or a lake and filming myself fishing, I'm gonna be talking about uh, what's gonna happen this spring because Daiwa, the, the brand is supposed to be a great brand, but I haven't had a very big experience with them. So I'm switching back to Shakespeare Ugly Stick, which is what I'd always use. I'd always use Shakespeare Ugly Stick, but I don't feel, I don't feel like Daiwa, I, I, I can't continue with them. I'll show you. That's so weird. Okay, whatever. I, I guess you're just gonna have to deal with me being a shadow in the background. Shakespeare is what I'm going to be using probably for the next while because they make some nice rods. I've never had problems with them. And uh, ever since I switched to Daiwa, I've just been having problems. This reel, it's so nice. It's just such an awesome looking reel. It's called a Samurai X. This is the Samurai X. Let's see if you can. Yes, yeah, so the Samurai X. Daiwa. I mean, it doesn't sound that great because I haven't oiled it in a while. Because I haven't been using it. Because look. I mean, there's no safety. I mean, uh, on or off switch right here. But still, it it it, it just decides to uh, want to break itself. I'm not gonna use a rod. I'm not gonna use a reel that just could have backline like that. Because when I got a big fish like I did in Florida when I was fishing for ladyfish, I got a really big fish right on the beach. Uh, it was probably a big jack and uh, went like that and uh, yeah. But yeah, this is such a nice reel. I'm gonna see if I can repair it just because uh, I want to because this is such a nice looking reel and it works great. Except that, you know, it doesn't work at all. Okay, the second reel is the same size reel. Um, it's the same size. It's basically the same thing, but this is the regular Daiwa Samurai. It's super, super nice, but it has the same problem. And it, this time, it does have an on and off switch. But still same problem. So yeah, I gotta see if I can repair this thing because it's just a, just a waste of money if I can't use this. Okay, the third reel is this. This is, a, this is another Daiwa Samurai. Uh, much smaller size. You, you see me use this in, in a lot of my videos. If you do watch my videos. But reels nicely. It sounds a little weird because I haven't oiled it in a while. But look. The... I forget what this is called. The um... Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. The bar the barrel, whatever this thing is. Look at that. It doesn't like lock into place, so when you're reeling in a fish, this just this will just pop right out like that, as you can see. Damn. I, I do have like two two more of these reels and they they've been working fine for some reason, but this one just happened to mess up. The fourth reel, this is such a nice reel. Um I I still use it because it doesn't matter too much. Actually it does. But this is the Laguna, the Daiwa Laguna, such a nice reel. What a shame. There's a problem with it. Let's see if I can. <sighs> exactly. <laughs> the drag is actually broken. <clears throat> There's nothing you can do. I mean, it it's locked. Oh wait. So it's, yeah, it's really hard to open the the reel and it changed your drag because it would suck if you got a big fish and you couldn't loosen your drag. But yeah, reel's fine as you can see it sounds really nice. And for some reason Jeez, okay, yeah, I'm I'll deal with this later. But yeah, pretty much such a nice reel. Hasn't gone to waste because I can still probably fix it. I fixed reels before. But, you know, I just, I'm not sure what to do. Okay, the fifth reel is this dude. This is a crossfire, dial crossfire. And it doesn't reel. It's stuck. I, it's so, uh, it's stuck. And I can't reel it. So, what's the point of a reel if you can't reel it? 
Oh, no, we're not finished yet. If you don't think the reels are bad enough, you can take a look at the rods. It's not that bad. I love these rods. You've got these. We bought these because the reels were so smooth. They have this nice cork handle. Love this so much. Awesome design. For some reason, the rings are just so bad. I don't know what they are. I think the inside of them will just uh, fall off. Uh, as you can see here. <laughs> Happened here, too. We're on the tip here. It's supposed to look like that. But instead, at the top here, it still works fine. But yeah, it's kind of annoying that just to have these the inside of the rings fall off. For some reason, this part is actually bent. I don't know how. You can probably see that a little bit. They reel backwards when they're not supposed to. The the flipper thing doesn't work correctly. The reel doesn't actually reel, and the drag is broken. There's pretty much all of the problems you can possibly have with the reel. And it's happened to me with five of the reels. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess the rods are fine, even though the inside the rings fall out. So right here is my latest vlog, and as you can see there, that ugly sticks, it, they're so good. It takes so long for them to break. Even the, the $30, $25 rods, it takes forever for them to break. They're so durable. Um, the reels last forever. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, everything good about them. The GX2 reel, the GX2 rod, they're just so nice. That's where I'm going to be getting. The bait catchers, also really good. Um, it's a pretty good price, too, for how good of a bait caster it is. And yeah, that's what I'm going to be switching to in the spring. So, done with these Daiwa, this Daiwa stuff, man. I just can't deal with it anymore. So yeah, thanks for watching. I kind of rambled a lot here. Yeah, so if you have similar problems, uh, comment down below if you feel me right now. Um, I don't think I'm going to be fishing for a very long time, but February is pickerel, chain pickerel season. I might have a few trips there. There are some ponds around here that do have some big pickerel. Florida trip in February, I'll get some awesome video fishing in the canals and stuff. Uh, as you can see here... not too great outside, is it now? So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. This is an ugly stick, and uh, some people say that it doesn't break. I mean, it can bend its own length in half, and I'm going to test it.